Sir Alfred Jules Freddy Air, the 29th of October 1910 to the 27th of June 1989, usually cited as A.J. Air, was a British philosopher known for his promotion of logical positivism, particularly in his books Language, Truth, and Logic, 1936, and The Problem of Knowledge, 1956. He was educated at Eton College and Oxford University, after which he studied the philosophy of logical positivism at the University of Vienna. From 1933 to 1940 he lectured on philosophy at Christ Church, Oxford, during the Second World War Air was a Special Operations Executive and MI6 agent, he was Grote Professor of the Philosophy of Mind and Logic at University College London from 1946 until 1959, after which he returned to Oxford to become Wycombe Professor of Logic at New College. He was president of the Aristotelian Society from 1951 to 1952 and knighted in 1970. He was known for his advocacy of humanism, and was the second president of the British Humanist Association now known as Humanists UK. Life Eyre was born in St John's Wood, in north-west London, to a wealthy family from continental Europe. His mother, Rain Citroen, was from the Dutch Jewish family who founded the Citroen Car Company in France. His father, Jules Eyre, was a Swiss Calvinist financier who worked for the Rothschild family. Eyre was educated at Asham St. Vincent School, a former boarding preparatory school for boys in the seaside town of Eastbourne in Sussex, in which he started boarding at the comparatively early age of seven for reasons to do with the First World War, and Eton College, a boarding school in Eton near Windsor in Berkshire. It was at Eton that Eyre first became known for his characteristic bravado and precocity. Although primarily interested in furthering his intellectual pursuits, he was very keen on sports, particularly rugby, and reputedly played the Eton Wall game very well. In the final examinations at Eton, Eyre came second in his year, and first in classics. In his final year, as a member of Eton's senior council, he unsuccessfully campaigned for the abolition of corporal punishment at the school. He won a classics scholarship to Christ Church, Oxford. After graduation from Oxford University Eyre spent a year in Vienna, returned to England and published his first book, Language, Truth and Logic in 1936. The first exposition in English of logical positivism as newly developed by the Vienna Circle, this made Eyre at age 26 the «enfant terrible» of British philosophy. In the Second World War he served as an officer in the Welsh Guards, chiefly in Intelligence Special Operations Executive SOE and MI6. Eyre was commissioned second lieutenant into the Welsh Guards from Officer Cadet Training Unit on 21 September 1940. After the war he briefly returned to Oxford University where he became a fellow and dean of Wadham College. He thereafter taught philosophy at London University from 1946 until 1959, when he also started to appear on radio and television. He was an extrovert and social mixer who liked dancing and attending the clubs in London and New York. He was also obsessed with sport, he had played rugby for Eton, and was a noted cricketer and a keen supporter of Tottenham Hotspur football team. For an academic, Eyre was an unusually well-connected figure in his time, with close links to high society and the establishment. Presiding over Oxford high tables, he is often described as charming, but at times he could also be intimidating. Eyre was married four times to three women. His first marriage was from 1932 to 1941 to Grace Isabel Renee D. 1980, who subsequently married philosopher Stuart Hampshire, Eyre's friend and colleague. In 1960 he married Alberta Constance D. Wells, with whom he had one son. Eyre's marriage to Wells was dissolved in 1983 and that same year he married Vanessa Salmon, former wife of politician Nigel Lawson. She died in 1985 and in 1989 he remarried D. Wells, who survived him. Eyre also had a daughter with Hollywood columnist Sheila Graham Westbrook. From 1959 to his retirement in 1978, Sir Alfred held the Wycombe Chair, Professor of Logic at Oxford. He was knighted in 1970. Eyre died on 27 June 1989. From 1980 to 1989, Eyre lived at 51 York Street, Marylebone, where a memorial plaque was unveiled on 19 November 1995. Philosophical ideas In Language, Truth and Logic Eyre presents the verification principle as the only valid basis for philosophy. 
Unless logical or empirical verification is possible, statements like, God exists, or charity is good, are not true or untrue but meaningless, and may thus be excluded or ignored. Religious language in particular was unverifiable and as such literally nonsense. He also criticizes C. A. Mace's opinion that metaphysics is a form of intellectual poetry. The stance that a belief in God denotes no verifiable hypothesis is sometimes referred to as eigtheism, for example, by Paul Kurtz. In later years Eyre reiterated that he did not believe in God and began to refer to himself as an atheist. He followed in the footsteps of Bertrand Russell by debating with the Jesuit scholar Frederick Copleston on the topic of religion. Eyre's version of emotivism divides the ordinary system of ethics into four classes. Propositions that express definitions of ethical terms, or judgments about the legitimacy or possibility of certain definitions. Propositions describing the phenomena of moral experience, and their causes. Exhortations to moral virtue. Actual ethical judgments. He focuses on propositions of the first class moral judgments saying that those of the second class belong to science, those of the third are mere commands, and those of the fourth, which are considered in normative ethics as opposed to meta ethics, are too concrete for ethical philosophy. Eyre argues that moral judgments cannot be translated into non-ethical, empirical terms and thus cannot be verified, in this he agrees with ethical intuitionists. But he differs from intuitionists by discarding appeals to intuition of non-empirical moral truths as worthless, since the intuition of one person often contradicts that of another. Instead, Eyre concludes that ethical concepts are mere pseudo-concepts. The presence of an ethical symbol in a proposition adds nothing to its factual content. Thus if I say to someone, you acted wrongly in stealing that money, I am not stating anything more than if I had simply said, you stole that money. Quote, in adding that this action is wrong I am not making any further statement about it. I am simply evincing my moral disapproval of it. It is as if I had said, you stole that money in a peculiar tone of horror, or written it with the addition of some special exclamation marks. If now I generalize my previous statement and say, stealing money is wrong, I produce a sentence that has no factual meaning, that is, expresses no proposition that can be either true or false. I am merely expressing certain moral sentiments. Between 1945 and 1947, together with Russell and George Orwell, he contributed a series of articles to Polemic, a short-lived British magazine of philosophy, psychology, and aesthetics. Edited by the ex-communist Humphrey Slater, Eyre was closely associated with the British humanist movement. He was an honorary associate of the Rationalist Press Association from 1947 until his death. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1963. In 1965, he became the first president of the Agnostics Adoption Society and in the same year succeeded Julian Huxley as president of the British Humanist Association, a post he held until 1970. In 1968 he edited The Humanist Outlook, a collection of essays on the meaning of humanism. In addition he was one of the signers of the Humanist Manifesto, he taught or lectured several times in the United States, including serving as a visiting professor at Bard College in the fall of 1987. At a party that same year held by fashion designer Fernando Sanchez, heir, then 77, confronted Mike Tyson who was forcing himself upon the then little-known model Naomi Campbell. When Eyre demanded that Tyson stop, the boxer said, Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm the heavyweight champion of the world. To which Eyre replied, And I am the former Wycombe Professor of Logic. We are both preeminent in our field. I suggest that we talk about this like rational men. Eyre and Tyson then began to talk, while Naomi Campbell slipped out. <laughs> Near-death experience In 1988, shortly before his death, Eyre wrote an article entitled, What I Saw When I Was Dead describing an unusual near-death experience. Of the experience, Eyre first said that it slightly weakened my conviction that my genuine death will be the end of me, though I continue to hope that it will be. 
However, a few days later he revised this, saying, "...what I should have said is that my experiences have weakened, not my belief that there is no life after death, but my inflexible attitude towards that belief." In 2001 Dr. Jeremy George, the attending physician, claimed that Eyre had confided to him, I saw a divine being. I'm afraid I'm going to have to revise all my books and opinions. Eyre's son Nick, however, said that he had never mentioned this to him though he did find his father's words to be extraordinary, and said he had long felt there was something possibly suspect about his father's version of his near-death experience. Works <laughs> <laughs> Eyre is best known for popularizing the verification principle, in particular through his presentation of it in Language, Truth, and Logic 1936. The principle was at the time at the heart of the debates of the so-called Vienna Circle which Eyre visited as a young guest. Others, including the leading light of the circle, Moritz Schlick, were already offering their own papers on the issue. Eyre's own formulation was that a sentence can only be meaningful if it has verifiable empirical import, otherwise it is either analytical, if tautologous, or metaphysical, i.e. meaningless, or literally senseless. He started to work on the book at the age of 23 and it was published when he was 26. Eyre's philosophical ideas were deeply influenced by those of the Vienna Circle and David Hume. His clear, vibrant and polemical exposition of them makes language, truth and logic essential reading on the tenets of logical empiricism the book is regarded as a classic of 20th century analytic philosophy, and is widely read in philosophy courses around the world. In it, Eyre also proposed that the distinction between a conscious man and an unconscious machine resolves itself into a distinction between different types of perceptible behavior, an argument which anticipates the Turing test published in 1950 to test a machine's capability to demonstrate intelligence. Eyre wrote two books on the philosopher Bertrand Russell, Russell and Moore, The Analytic Heritage and Russell he also wrote an introductory book on the philosophy of David Hume and a short biography of Voltaire. Eyre was a strong critic of the German philosopher Martin Heidegger. As a logical positivist Eyre was in conflict with Heidegger's proposed vast, overarching theories regarding existence. These he felt were completely unverifiable through empirical demonstration and logical analysis. This sort of philosophy was an unfortunate strain in modern thought. He considered Heidegger to be the worst example of such philosophy, which Eyre believed to be entirely useless. In 1972–1973 Eyre gave the Gifford Lectures at University of St Andrews, later published as The Central Questions of Philosophy. In the preface to the book, he defends his selection to hold the lectureship on the basis that Lord Gifford wished to promote natural theology in the widest sense of that term, and that non-believers are allowed to give the lectures if they are able reverent men, true thinkers, sincere lovers of and earnest inquirers after truth." He still believed in the viewpoint he shared with the logical positivists, that large parts of what was traditionally called philosophy, including the whole of metaphysics, theology and aesthetics were not matters that could be judged as being true or false and that it was thus meaningless to discuss them. In The Concept of a Person and Other Essays 1963, Eyre heavily criticized Wittgenstein's private language argument. Eyre's sense data theory in Foundations of Empirical Knowledge was famously criticized by fellow Oxonian J. L. Austin in Sense and Sensibilia, a landmark 1950s work of common language philosophy. Eyre responded to this in the essay, Has Austin Refuted the Sense Data Theory? which can be found in his Metaphysics and Common Sense. 1969. Topic. Awards He was awarded a knighthood as Knight Bachelor in the London Gazette on 1 January 1970. Topic selected publications 1936, Language, Truth, and Logic, London, Gollinch, 2nd edition, 1946, OCLC 416788667 reprinted 2001 with a new introduction, London, Penguin. ISBN 978-0-14-118604-7-1940, The Foundations of Empirical Knowledge, London, Macmillan. 
OCLC 2028651-1954, Philosophical Essays, London, Macmillan, Essays on Freedom, Phenomenalism, Basic Propositions, Utilitarianism, Other Minds, The Past, Ontology, OCLC 18663630519571957, The Conception of Probability as a Logical Relation, in S. Corner, ed., Observation and Interpretation in the Philosophy of Physics, New York, New York, Dover Publications, 1956, The Problem of Knowledge, London, Macmillan. OCLC 557578816-1963, The Concept of a Person and Other Essays, London, Macmillan, Essays on Truth, Privacy and Private Languages, Laws of Nature, The Concept of a Person, Probability, OCLC 3573935-1967, Has Austin Refuted the Sense Data Theory? Santes Vol. 18, pp. 117-140, reprinted in Air 1969, 1968, The Origins of Pragmatism, London, Macmillan. OCLC 641463982-1969, Metaphysics and Common Sense, London, Macmillan, Essays on Knowledge, Man as a Subject for Science, Chance, Philosophy and Politics, Existentialism, Metaphysics, and a Reply to Austin on Sense Data Theory Air 1967, ISBN 978-0-333-10517-7-1971, Russell and Moore, The Analytical Heritage, London, Macmillan. OCLC 4647662121972 Probability and Evidence London Macmillan ISBN 9780333127568197 Russell London Fontana Modern Masters OCLC 18612870819731973 The Central Questions of Philosophy London Weidenfeld ISBN 978-0-297-76634-6-1977, Part of My Life, London, Collins. ISBN 978-0-00-216017-9-1979, Replies, in G. MacDonald, ed., Perception and Identity, Essays Presented to A. J. Eyre, with his replies, London, Macmillan, Ithaca, N.Y., Cornell University Press, 1980, Hume, Oxford, Oxford University Press 1982, Philosophy in the Twentieth Century, London, Weidenfeld, 1984, Freedom and Morality and Other Essays, Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1984, More of My Life, London, Collins, 1986, Ludwig Wittgenstein, London, Penguin, 1986 Voltaire, New York, Random House, 1988, Thomas Paine, London, Secker and Warburg, 1989, That Undiscovered Country, New Humanist, Volume 104, 1, May, pp. 10-13, 1990, The Meaning of Life and Other Essays, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1992, The Philosophy of A.J. Air, The Library of Living Philosophers Vol. 21, edited by Louis Edwin Hahn, Open Court Publishing Co. Topic see also A priori knowledge list of British philosophers Topic Notes Topic References Air, A.J. 1989. That Undiscovered Country, New Humanist, Vol. 104, 1, May, pp. 10-13. Rogers, Ben. 1999. A.J. Air, A Life. New York, Grove Press. ISBN 978-0-8021-3869-9. Chapter 1 and a review by Hilary Sperling, The New York Times, 24 December 2000, Walheim, Richard, January 2011, 2004. Air, Sir Alfred Jules, Freddy. Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, online ed. Oxford University Press. DOI 10.1093/ref/odnb 39796 subscription or UK public library membership required topic further reading Jim Holt positive thinking review of Carl Sigmund exact thinking in demented times the Vienna circle and the epic quest for the foundations of science basic books 449 pp the New York Review of Books volume 64 number 20 the 21st of December 2017 pp 74 to 76. Ted Honderich, Heirs Philosophy and Its Greatness. Anthony Quinton, Alfred Jules Eyre. Proceedings of the British Academy, 94 pp. 255–282. Graham MacDonald, Alfred Jules Eyre, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, 7 May 2005. 
Foster, John 1985, Air, London, Routledge and Keegan Paul, ISBN 0-7102-0602-X, 0-7102-0602-X Topic External links Ayers Essay What I Saw When I Was Dead Ayers Elizabeth Rathbone Lecture on Philosophy and Politics Air Entry in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy AJ. Air at Philosophy AJ. Air, Out of Time by Alex Kalinikos Works by A.J. Air at Open Library Appearance on Desert Island Discs 3 August 1984 A.J. Air on IMDb